What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net, and this is lesson number one of our green screen, which is our key light lesson inside of plugin to After Effects. And as you can see here, we've got, uh, well, this is me, and I am actually in front of a green screen. And uh, that is what it originally looked like, and I had some color correction to it, and I keyed it out. Not quite in that order, but pretty much. And I also have a mask down here that I use to mask around the uh, outside of the green screen that was not needed. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Come over here and grab a hold of our project footage, drag it into a new composition. And this is what the actual footage looks like. As you can see, there's a little bit too much brightness, uh, however, just enough to get past the green screen and to where we can key it out. So the first thing we want to do is that we want to come over here and select our green screen footage. Come up here to our pen tool, click on it. Now what I'm going to do here is come to about up in there, here, to the top, then over to that one, and then click down. And that right there will select our green screen for us, and we can also come down and adjust to get rid of the rest of it. And so the um, what we're seeing here is that this part is the bottom of my teleprompter. And then, of course, that's the outside of the green screen area. So we want to make it to where you cannot see the bottom of the teleprompter. And then that right there gives us a nice area to select whenever we go to key out. So now let's come over here to effect, keying, key light. And then let's go ahead and key out our background. Come over here and choose Inside Mask. And then come down to Screen Mat. Oops. Screen Mat. Sorry about that. You want to choose Screen Mat. And then the first thing we want to do is we want to choke out the black to where it just gets rid of all of the black. And then let's lower our white to where it gets rid of all of the black inside of us there. And then come over here to our screen softness. And let's bring this up to about 2.5 is usually what's good. So um, there. Now come back over and choose final result. And then that's what it looks like after uh, we've keyed it out. So now let's come over here and add in a new adjustment layer. And then come to effect color correction, brightness, and contrast. Now we want to drop this down to about 110 instead of so bright, it's sort of a little bit dark. However, as you can see, we've got some splotches on our video here that just, it doesn't look good at all. So before, after, but see these splotches? That is the light coming in and shining off from the shiny places that's on my face or on any other part of my body. You can also see some on my hands as well. And so let's come about right up in there. Let's choose our green screen again. And then we want to come down to foreground color correction. And we want to enable color correction. And then come down to contrast. And we want to do a minus 10. And that right there will get rid of the shiny parts on my face, on my hands, and on my clothes to where the finished product will look like this right here. And so uh, just playing around inside of your settings here will, should give you the look that you want and need. Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net for lesson number one of our green screen working with key light. Alright, y'all have a good one now. Bye bye.